bird on a tree. I'm just sitting here. I got time. It's clear to see from up here. The world seems small. Hi guys, it's that big girl. I just came to Mukolaev Oblast, to Mukolaev, southern Ukraine, and I met Michael from Portland, Oregon. So, Michael, tell us about you and what are you doing in Ukraine? What's the why, why would foreigner want to come to Ukraine? <laughs> oh well, uh, well, first of all, it's just it's just such a pleasant surprise to meet Irina here. <laughs> And I've, I honestly have never done a U YouTube video, but so it's kind of exciting for me to do something like this. And okay, I probably should hey, put this thing okay. a little bit closer. Um, well, I've, to me, you know, like I've been here since 2016, and pretty much every year um, for a few times, uh, for a few months every year. And when I first came to Ukraine, I just really thought, well, I was just going to be here for, you know, a few weeks. And honestly, it's because when I was I was traveling Europe that year, and and um, and people told me, oh, don't go to Ukraine. There's war going on, and it's just not a danger. It's just a dangerous place. And and my personality is, is that I always I never trust. Not I always want to find out the truth based on my own experience. So I said, okay, I'm gonna go there for myself and really kind of you know see what was going on. And I came and I. On the first day, made a met a really good friend. Made a really good friend who helped me find a hotel, and I just really enjoyed. Um, and I would, you know, we hang out, and I got to know more people, and I just really enjoyed the food, the, the, just everything, you know, in the city. And not to mention everything was, you know, inexpensive. Uh, was in inexpensive, and also the food was just absolutely amazing, and I love it because, yes. um, um, uh, you know. It, from the U.S., you have to pay a premium price to to get uh, the healthy food that you want, and mm -hmm. then just from the prepared food from supermarkets are just absolutely just taste foul. And you know, like I I was born in China, and uh, you know we pay attention to the flavor of the food. Mm -hmm. Whereas, but you know, I've traveled 50 countries in the world and tasted the mm -hmm. food in so many places. But when I came to Ukraine, I saw wow, there's just the variety and. And you know everybody heard the saying, um, "We are what we eat." So you look at the healthy, you know, um, body shape that Ukrainians typically have, and I just I why, just why do you think they look healthy? Because of food? Well, I think in a long run it is. You know, you can say, "Well, maybe Ukrainians have good genes," but I don't. I mean, in the long run, you know, good health translate to good genes. You know, pass down the generations. However. Um, you know, in 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 the short run, and it's it, it has to do with the food. Mm -hmm. So, and then I noticed that in restaurants, you know, you can just pay three, four, five dollars and get a tray of assorted, um, you know, different types of food all on the same tray, mm -hmm. and it's just it's just amazing, and and it's just so tasty, and also from a you know, from an Asian culture, and I, it, Ukrainian food is kind of like the, a blend of between Western and Asian food, and then the mm -hmm. flavor is just absolutely amazing. Mm -hmm. Do you so, feel? Can I ask you? Do you feel safe in Ukraine? Oh yeah, I feel safe. My friends always warn me not to walk around, you know, at night mm -hmm. in Kiev, and they say there's druggies and all that. But I've never had any had any issues, and so I've traveled Lviv, um, uh, uh, Odessa. Kiev, Kharkiv, Kharkiv, mm -hmm. and Zapori Zaporizhia. Zaporizhia. Mm -hmm. And now I'm in uh, Mikolaev, Mikolaev, Ukraine. My first time. First time. My first oh, wow. Because in the past, I just always stayed in Kiev. I had friends, and I dated two girls in mm -hmm. Kiev, and I just mostly just stayed in Kiev. And I. This is actually the first time. Well, before I only traveled in Odessa, Lviv, and Kiev every time, you know, for the last four years. And this time, I, I finally just said, okay, I'm just gonna get up, and go. And really, this time I came in July, right after the border opened, Ukrainian border opened, and mm -hmm. and I just really got tired of living, <laughs> just being locked locked up in the U.S. And mm -hmm. and I came came over here, and it's just. 
I was just amazed at how um, honestly people here never um, practice social distancing and you know it is required that we wear masks in stores and stuff but outside you know I just life is just a hundred percent normal and um, but you know hearing the news of Americans are dying every day over there but in the Ukrainian in Ukraine even even though the st statistics might be off but still you know none of my friends know anybody else who has COVID and mm -hmm. so it's just I don't know I to me, it just feels nice to be here and be able to taste all the good food and... and uh, okay, okay, about yeah. COVID, I will say I come from Lviv just now, I arrived, it, it's in the red zone and I do hear in my surroundings people who are in ICU, um, but uh, I think government is not good about tracking statistics uh, and also taking care of the population's health, so we, it's up to us to take care of ourselves. Uh, but yeah, I, you can see my video about Odessa, there was clubbing and parties in Odessa. Covid does not exist in Odessa. <laughs> in Lviv people are a little bit more careful, but Mykolaiv has low statistics and very few people wear masks from what I see. Yeah, I mean I walked into a little restaurants in Mykolaiv and mm -hmm. uh, they, they, some of them didn't even require me to wear a mask. Yeah. And, but you know, on the, on the map, uh, there's the Covid map, this town is still seems to be in the green zone, whereas yeah. um, Odessa is yellow, I believe, and whereas Lviv is red, and yeah. Kiev is orange now. Mm -hmm. So it's it's interesting. I I think um, I don't know. I think Ukraine has a great future as long as long as Putin doesn't try to meddle with the you know the business here too much. I read some articles about. Uh, Putin trying to, you know, convert the southern and eastern part of a couple of cities to, to Russia recently. Mm -hmm. So I feel bad about it, but I think otherwise Ukraine has a good future, hopefully. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I, re I really like this country and I even think mm -hmm. about getting my permanent residency in, in Ukraine. So I have a lot of good things to say, good s to say about Ukraine and all the nice people that I met here. Wow. It's Very good. nice and warm and friendly people. Good news. <laughs> yeah. And you were in Lviv and you say it's not a bad city, yes? No, I think Lviv has such a great history because it used to be part of Polish city mm -hmm. and yeah. um, downtown is you know very historical, whereas mm -hmm. uh, in Kharkiv, in Zaporizhia, Zapoz, Zapoz, um, these are more in my opinion, I'm not an expert, but they felt more like a Russian, has a more mm -hmm. Russian atmosphere. Mm -hmm. More, uh, Kharkiv was more even like um, Minsk, the building and, mm -hmm. and layout. Mm -hmm. But I think Kharkiv is very livable and everything, and I like mm -hmm. the park and everything. Mm -hmm. um, Lviv is definitely more Polish. Mm -hmm. uh, they speak more Ukrainian there. Yeah. Um, and here are southern Ukraine, small town, and people are nice. Okay. Uh, I have, don't have anything to complain about except for wow. a few mosquitoes. Because oh. where I live in Portland, Oregon, there's no mosquitoes whatsoever. I'm type A, type O oh. plus blood, so uh. mosquitoes love me. Okay, I will teach you how to how to how to to, to how to fight this. <laughs> I will teach you. So people are friendly, yes, for you. It's okay. Ah uh, yes, they are. They are very nice to me, and mm -hmm. my friend in Lviv told me, and she said. Oh, Ukrainians are actually really nasty to each other, but they're really nice to foreigners. But let me tell you, my observation is that Ukrainians are not that bad to each other. I mean, really, honestly, where I'm from in Portland, I see that, my gosh, people have get into road rage, on, you mm. know, with each other all the time. And, and uh, it's just, I just, people think, I just, and Portland changed a lot too, but it just feels like people are just, not tolerable and entitled feels like they're just entitled and mm -hmm. and um, they if something bothers them they'll get into the f their f your face and just start you know like just telling you and just criticize you whereas in Ukraine and people are to me they're tolerant of each other you know I don't I mean sure once in a while I'll, I'll run into a couple of like maybe I call them former Soviet Union type uh, you know mindset people older folks but in general people are tolerant and to me they they care about each other they don't get into arguments easily with each other mm -hmm. and I 
I just always have a good time and I meet good people. And um, uh, tell me, how many people speak English? How how is it for you? Easy for you? At least one. That's you. At least one. <laughs> me in <laughs> hostel <laughs> too. Yes. Sir. Um. Well, I I I don't think it's a huge population, but mm -hmm, um, mm -hmm. but with Google Translator, I never have a problem. Mm -hmm. um, but I think. Um, I don't know. I don't think it's a huge population, but there are definitely mm -hmm. people speaking. I mean, I would say, even say, I don't know. It's it's not it's mm -hmm. not bad at all. Maybe young people will help you. Uh, yeah, mm -hmm. yeah, I, and it, that's the good thing. It's like if I, I mean, in public, and I have some problem, there's usually there's somebody that that's that jumps out, you know, wants mm -hmm. to talk to me, mm -hmm. and wants to help mm -hmm. in English. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And um, yeah, I'm sorry. I, I suffered from really bad allergy. I can't even keep my eyes mm -hmm. open today. Um, but yeah, so I guess I'm just in, I enjoy the simple lifestyle here and good food and uh, enjoy being with around with um, healthy people and looking at healthy people just playing the park because you know here in this town like at night people are just doing all sorts of things like in the pub in the city square mm -hmm. you know and um, very very active um, mm -hmm. and it's a very different lifestyle in than the US like in Kiev the apartment building that I live in mm -hmm. um, or just anywhere in a neighborhood you know mm -hmm. tall high-rise mm -hmm. just just apartment building amongst every three or four apartment building like on the ground floor you see these just kids play areas you know mm -hmm. Rides, slides, and um, just For active, active, yeah, very active lifestyle. Rest, My parents yeah. are just there, and mm -hmm. and nobody's social distancing, and it's just people are just playing, and they're just active for you to sit and enjoy. Whereas here, it's just people are outside doing stuff. It's funny it's because amazing. many Ukrainians try to go to USA, <laughs> but here we find, found uh, good reasons to live in Ukraine. <laughs> Actually, so I really enjoy Ukraine, and it's just you know I work, I work several months a year, and then I come over to, to uh, to Ukraine, and just kind of enjoy life and sleep and enjoy the food. And the food is, is 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 a big reason that I'm here. Nice. Uh, thank you, Michael, for the interview, and I hope this will motivate people to visit Ukraine. <laughs> well, thank you, Yuri, thank you, for Michael. the uh, opportunity to be my first YouTube video. I can't believe yeah. it. And uh, see how friendly Ukrainians are. I just <laughs> met her in my hostel, actually, an hour ago. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes, I already have the pleasure of knowing about your life. <laughs> thank you. Thank and you. Jakuyu. Jakuyu. Bye. Bye bye.